March is coming in like a polar bear. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Brian Goddard is here, and I think we share that feeling. It, we do. An angry polar bear, because not only will it be cold, but it's going to be snowing as well uh, for March 1st. Not a lot of snow, but just enough to make you know things slippery once again. We've gone the entire week without snow on the ground. We've given the snowplow drivers a little bit of a respite after being, what, almost every other day for the past couple of months doing some snow plowing. They are seeing some snow in the Fox River Valley. They have a winter weather advisory there, and it trails back down toward the Quad Cities. We will see some of the snow, which is moving into Madison uh, over the next couple of hours for your evening plans. How much snow are we looking at? I think generally speaking about one to two inches of snow by midnight or 1 a.m. Uh, maybe two to three inches of snow Fond du Lac into the uh, Fox River Valley and then parts of Walworth are seeing Kenosha counties about an inch or even less. So not a lot, but it's enough you're gonna have to get out there in the shovel in the morning and it could make the roads a little bit slick. It was cold this morning. Clear sky, calm wind, snow on the ground, or whatever you want to call that stuff. It's like it's like a glacier. Two below uh, here in Milwaukee. That's the 26th day or night that we have had zero or colder temperatures here in Milwaukee. It's the most we've had since 19, I believe, 79. 13 below in Fond du Lac and West Bend. 11 below Lake Geneva. At least the winds were calm, so no additional wind chill. So after six straight days of sunshine, which has been just phenomenal, even though it's been cold, the clouds have moved back in with that storm system. It's 18 degrees. We were only in the single digits yesterday. 23 in Milwaukee, 26 in Kenosha. So we have warmed up despite the cloud cover, uh, and it's 18 in West Bend. The winds between 5 and 15 for the most part, a couple of spots seeing gusts close to 20 miles per hour. That unfortunately is keeping wind chills in the single digits and the lower teens. It feels like 11 here in Milwaukee, it feels like 2 in Fond du Lac. Another storm system developing back off to the west for tomorrow. Most of the day is dry until I think sometime after 3 or 4 in the afternoon. You start to see a little bit of light snow. We could pick up a quick inch of snow uh, by 7 o'clock and then an additional inch of snow uh, during the late evening hours. But where the bullseye is, where it seems to have been all winter long, Kansas City. Central Illinois, Indy, and in, into Ohio. We'll be on the northern fringe of this. We're looking at about two to three inches of snow tomorrow, late afternoon to the evening for Kenosha, Racine, Lake Geneva, and Elkhorn, one to two for elsewhere, and then lighter amounts to the north. So tonight, heavier to the north, tomorrow, heavier to the south. Totals about two to four around most of the region by the time it's all said and done. Here's your next storm system for tomorrow. The bulk of it, though, stays just to the south of us. Tonight, Light snow, about one to two inches, more to the north, uh, 14 degrees tomorrow, 20 degrees, less than an inch of snow in the afternoon. Could see another inch uh, for tomorrow evening before it's all said and done. Then could even see some more flurries or light snow showers near the lake on Sunday, 13 degrees on Monday, and the first week of March, well below normal. We should be close to 40. We're back after this.